You know, I don't usually talk about drama. It isn't kind of, you know, translated. Because, you know, someone's going to talk about it. But I see so many YouTube policy videos. And this one with Colleen, also known as Miranda Sings. She got Netflix shot out of that shit. You know, she got stuff. Lots of help, ability to help people. You know what I mean? And shit came out that I didn't know. Good few people didn't know that she's a fucking groomer. And she put out a ukulele apology video. Now, thanks to Moist Critical for the information on this one. He's basically the news to everybody. I don't know. He's basically the internet news for me. But thanks to him, I found out about this. And, um,. Not apologizing for hurting people. God damn it. God damn it. I don't know what's wrong with people. It's a horrible thing, but also it reminds it reminds people that She puts it as, oh, everyone hates me because of clout and all the damage and all the stuff you want. You just want to be entertained. But it reminds everyone else that we're, some people are looking for that. Sure. Her mindset clearly does that for other people. So therefore, she's doing it on herself and that she's feeling it. And she doesn't like it so much. She didn't have a guilty conscience about all this stuff. You wouldn't feel the need to get on a ukulele. And just not apologize. You know what I mean? Like, if you didn't have anything to apologize for, okay, talk about it. Genuinely, get on a video, talk about it. If you have people advising you not to go onto a video, y'all did some fucked up shit, Colleen. You did some fucked up shit. And you think, oh, I'm just a little weird. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna sing. she was singing on ukulele as well. It's just a little weird. You, know, you think my stuff that I did in the past, uh, but I changed my behavior. You sent used underwear and had sexual um, information being shared. Like these kind of people I want to shake by the head and just smack around because they'll, they'll never understand. They will never understand. Nope. I was enjoying a nice slice of cake while watching a bit of Moist Critical before I start my day. Don't judge me for eating cake, alright? Is what was available. I was watching, I was eating some cake. <laughs> I was eating some cake and uh, drinking cake and orange vitamin juice. Like, what am I doing? Everybody loves a bit of drama. Everybody loves a bit of drama. Bitch, Colleen, you love a bit of drama too. It's in our nature to be curious about things. It's in our nature. Some people have nasty nature and just want people to be in pain. Sure, okay. But don't try and use that as a weapon and as a tool to hide your fucking malpractices, okay? You used your power for bad. Which is the fucking thing I hate the most. Someone who is a lying piece of shit. Okay? Someone who can't, in a, just can't, show who they really are. You're the kind of person, right? She's the kind of person who puts a stain where they go. Not a glow. Not a, oh man, they were so nice. Maybe sometimes. But... Now people think, oh, maybe that nice encounter, it's a stain in their mind now. Just like, I had a great time watching Wreck-It Ralph 2 with my wife recently. And I saw you in it! And it was like, ah, oh, cool, Cena, you know. YouTuber, stuff like that. It was, it was fun, a little, little reference. But this is why, you know, less of us are in shit because of people like you. Because... People just can't and aren't entertaining by themselves. So you're talking about being entertaining, all oh, your drama being entertaining. Well, bitch, you did something wrong. That's the bottom line. I love truth. 
I love people who are authentic, and I love people who, who strive to be who they are, to show the world who they are, no matter how many people say, you're horrible, you're bad, you're disgusting, whatever. You're the kind of people that make it hard for people like us. You make it fucking difficult. You're the one that stirs the pot and puts an ingredient that no one knows about and can't identify. Okay? And anyone eating it will feel unsafe. But, I mean, it's the only way to consume the content. You should redo your apology video. Mm hmm. It's wild. It's wild. If something happens and you've done it, you did something. You didn't feel guilty for it. You just feel bad that you got caught. And you don't even want to get caught, so you're saying is, oh, I mean, I did a few bad things, but, oh, it's just, it's just everybody wants to just beat up on me because the whole world is just, they don't care about people's feelings. There's nobody in the world whatsoever that cares about people, just genuinely, that if they see a good person being done bad, they won't strive for them. Okay. Let's talk about a few people that have been done bad, hmm? Hmm? Celebrities. Alright, you're a celebrity. Okay? You are. Fucking Brendan Fraser, bitch. Huh? All for clout? Sure, there were some people that drove it around. For sure. Brendan Fraser, though. He went through some shit. He went through some fucking shit. Something bad happened to him. And... It wasn't, oh my god, there was so much drama around him, like, oh shit, so much bad shit happened to him. Peep, but to say that there's not people that are there for uplifting anyone that needs it, or to say that you're wrong, and to say, hey, all those other people are wrong about you, is bullshit. You just can't accept what you did. She can't accept what, she can't, she can't accept what she did. And I like to talk to person and third person, because... Whoever watches this future person, whoever watches this future person, deserves to be talked to. Deserves recognition. But she, she needs a dose of reality. Because it, it's one of the things that boils my blood the most. And that's why I don't really talk about much when it comes to other people, because it's not my thing. I, I literally just, I, I have my own content I consume. I watch much critical, so I'm just like, cool. Thank you for the fucking, the dose of the thing, of the drama, or whatever, or information, or cool information that that particular has. So myself, I don't do it. All the time. But when something boils my blood like this, I just can't help it. Bad people disguising themselves as good people, and then when they get caught, can't fucking admit it. That's what makes the world burn, baby. But there's enough people with sprinklers out here. So, look, you might get away, but you spat in the faces of all those victims that you made uncomfortable. People that were kids, all right? You think that's nice? How about it happen to you? Huh? Would you like that? No, you wouldn't. But you're not in that situation. You're the one with all the money. You're the one that was famous. You're, the, you're fine, right? You're a higher being. In your mind, you're a higher being. So no matter what my, my legal advisors say, I'm gonna, I can't talk about this thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna make a fucking song about it. Oh my God. And it's gonna be so big. I'm gonna be coming out here like Amber Heard. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be like, yes, fucking, oh shit. You know, like I'm right. They're wrong. Yes. Oh, come on. Unite. Am I right? Unite with the ukulele tonight. Come on. Shut up. I'm sick of seeing people like you. Okay? I'm sick of it. It doesn't, like, I am sick of it. I care about good people. I care about good hearts. And I'm sick of seeing people like you. So please, if you really, really give a shit about anybody that watches your shit, any iota of goodness that you might have given to someone on a bad day actually do the right thing and apologize own up to it whatever I hope this word is in your vocabulary because you use a lot of nice vocabulary words and sometimes when I see people that 
Use so many nice words and are able to string sentences together so well. Make a song, maybe. And they can't even face the very, very, very obvious fact of you just have to do the right thing. Consequences. You will have consequences. That word's probably in your vocabulary, right? Consequences. Colleen, you gonna have consequences. Accept the consequences. They is what they is. If you're bad, don't expect to get away with it. Try to do good. And that's all I can say for this one. That's all I had to say. And I'm gonna finish my cake and my vitamin orange juice. One healthy, one not so healthy. The perfect balance. I'll lie to myself about it. Maybe not. Nope, I'm truthful. It's bad. <laughs> But anyway, future person, that's all I had to say. So my advice to you, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. So do some smiley baby, and I'll see you next time. I believe in the future. I believe in the past. I believe what you truly desire. You can bring the past. All you need is a focus. And a story to hold. And the faith that you can achieve. What's inside your soul?